What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We're back at it with more Into the Flames gameplay. We're back at it on the Canton County Free Roam. We need to try the other map out sometime, actually. I, I haven't looked at that one yet, but we need to do that. Anyway, we're back on the Canton County Free Roam. I think we're on Station 3, right? Yes, we are. Station 3, so we're just going to hang out and take uh, whatever calls come at us. Make a few runs. Uh, exciting news in the uh, firefighting simulation world. Of course, we got the uh, traffic update that is uh, hopefully be coming out fairly soon for Into the Flames. And he also did a dev blog, I think it was yesterday, talking about the new incident command system. Ooh, loud. Let me turn that down just a tad. Structure fire on uh, Spicer Road, looks like. So anyway, uh, he did a dev blog on the uh, incident command system. I'm not going to go too terribly into detail about that, but basically you take command and uh, it has a few AI features with it as well. So that looks really cool. If you hadn't seen it, go to his channel and check it out. I'll put a link down in the uh, description. Also, uh, definitely check out the Discord, the Spur Gaming Discord. I'll have a link down below. Had a lot of people join it here lately. It's been an absolute blast. So uh, thank you all that's joined and uh, hopped over there. All right, let's see. What are we going to do with this call? It is uh, uh, Structure Fire 75 Spicer Hill Road Box 210. Uh, let's see. Let's get out of this and look on the map, see if we can figure out where it's at. We'll take the Quint. The quintessential Quint. Uh, where is this fire going to be? Ah, this is a new one. I do not believe I have been to this one before. Uh, the other station's closer, but you know what? We'll still take the Quint. We haven't taken the Quint out before. We'll do that. We'll take the Quint. All right, let's hop in. Let's hit E. Engines up. Let's get lights. Headlights. And we'll be on our way. I think... Let's hang tight just for a second here while I figure out the best way to get over there. Uh, to the right, and then uh, fall around through uh, the third intersection. We'll need to make another right, so we'll try to remember that. Good thing we got a map, right? Go ahead and get out of here. All right, let me turn this down just a little bit so it won't be feeding back in the audio. There we go. All right, let's get heading that way. It's already dark. The shifts go by so fast in game. It just you blink your eye and uh, it's already dark. You know? <laughs> it goes by really fast. A snowy day in uh, the Panhandle today. We got about an inch or two of snow this morning. Kids uh, had a delayed start at school, so that's kind of throwing me off. It's got me behind all day. It's really just honestly just got me completely out of whack because I am a routine-oriented person. Like I am big on routines. It needs to be the same routine every day day in or you know day out if it's not uh, the correct routine then it really just jacks with me so we've had a uh, an odd start to our morning but we're back at it and i think all right let's double check because i don't know yeah we went too far figures all right well we'll take this uh turn here all right, we'll eventually wind up over there. I told you I would wind up uh, going the wrong way. Yeah, here we go. We're by the... Uh, all right, there's the Quick Mart. Here's uh, the other station. What is it, Station 2? I think it is. We could have started at Station 2. But I really wanted to take the Quinn out. All right, let's go this way. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go. We're set now. All right, let's kill that. Oh, it's uh, it's some kind of a factory. Okay. I got you. Looks like a trailer is on fire. Nice. All right. Let's park this guy here, and I'm assuming we're going to need some kind of a tanker. So uh, let's hop out, and we'll teleport over to Station 2 and get another tanker. Let's see, pull up fire stations, uh, station two, teleport. And I don't want that huge tanker on this. Uh, I want something smaller. So I think what we're going to do is uh, we'll go back to fire stations and remove truck tanker three. And let's spawn. Let's see, what should we spawn? Spawn truck. Uh, let's do tanker one. We'll do tanker one. There she is. Nice. All right, let's go hop in her real fast. We'll take her over there. 
Get some water going. There we go. Engine lights, headlights, and we're good. hang this left here we'll be right there at it quick response right it's really bumped our response time <laughs> down a lot Wait. okay we're good now we can get started now this being a quint we should have everything we could possibly need on this uh truck do what we gotta do because we got things to do let's go up the ramp over here got our partner saw i guess i should have got an air pack actually never mind let's go back equipments gear air pack now we're set all right let's get on over here we'll cut this door we'll go in with an attack line because i think that's the only way we can gain access to that trailer is through here Oh, nice. It just cut a hole in it. That's cool. Okay. Uh, let's get our light going here. And it's going to be this trailer right here. Yeah, let's go ahead and cut this bad boy open. Cut it like a sardine can. We got some fires in there, people. We got some fires. We got to get it put out. I have to tell my AI guys, get over here. Need you to get over here. We got fires in the trailers. Alright, let's uh put our uh put our partner saw away and now we need to see about a water supply. What can we do? How does it work on this one? Let's see. Grab supply line. We've got it. And where is our no not that one? Go to our uh, discharge. There we go. Nice. All right. We got some waters. Now we'll get us an attack line. We'll bust this out really fast. Hit E. Yeah, so far I have I've just so enjoyed this game. It's uh, it, it's just it's really refreshing to, to not have to like fight and, and worry about performance and stuff like that. And it's uh, it's been great. Like, it's been rock solid. That's like the first thing I tell anyone that the performance is really rock solid on this. You don't have, why did my air, I thought I got an air tank. Did I not get an air pack? I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. All right, we'll do it old school. Though it will kill you really, really super fast in this game if you don't have air. Luckily, I, yeah, I, yep, there you go. There you go. Yeah, it does. The smoke does not play in this game. And I could have swore I had an air pack. Maybe I'm losing my mind. This because my morning's all jacked up, guys. All right, let's drop this. We'll go grab one. My morning completely got off on the wrong foot. Don't get me wrong. It was a good morning. It's just, uh, like I said, that late start to school really kind of jacked me up. All right, now we're good. Out of you are laughing about my reaction to being able to drop the hose and uh, pick it back up. Ed, hey, the small things really make a difference. The little things do, you know? That's one of the more uh, aggravating aspects I've had with Emerge NYC is dropping a hose and then never finding it again or, you know, having to take it back up and then, you know, pull another line. It's just, it just it's kind of aggravating, you know? It honestly is. So it is really, really nice. To, uh, to be able to drop a line and pick it back up. I, I've always said to drop anything, really. You know, to drop anything on the spot and be able to pick it back up is just really, really nice. So, All right. That one's uh, under control. We're good on that. So let's put all our stuff back up. And I wonder, can we put all the lines away like you can on the other? Yeah, you can. Sweet. Okay, let's do that. Did that get it? Everything but the supply. All right. We'll grab him. Had a lot of people really enjoying this game, so I'm glad you guys are. I'm glad you are. I'm not done with Emerge NYC by any means. I, You know, I'll probably check out Flashing Lights, too, since the update. We'll probably be checking it out. I do have it. I've had people ask about that game. I do have it. I've had it for a long time. It just, uh, the first time I played it a year or so ago, 
Uh, I wasn't that impressed. I wasn't I wasn't that impressed, honestly. But uh, it looks like it's come a long way. So we may give that a try, too. You know, I, I'm just... Uh, I'm into trying any and everything. All right. Uh, we've got that taken care of. So what I want to do is uh, I want to get this tanker back at the station. And I don't want to drive it back. So what we're probably going to do is to remove it. I don't even think I'm going to spawn it back because uh, I, I, we may get something else. You know, depending on what kind of calls we get, we may get something else. All right, we're going to get rid of this guy too because I don't want to spawn. I don't want to drive him all the way back to the station. So let's go to uh, uh, what station was it? It was uh, two station two, right? All right, let's remove the quint. If that did it. Yes, it did. All right, let's go back to station two and we'll respawn the Quinn. I do want him on the map. So let's go back to phone truck and Quint one. There we go. Nice. All right. Now we'll teleport to the station. Kind of a roundabout way to doing it, but uh, we made it work. Go back to uh, station two here. Teleport. Nice. There we go. All right, we're set. Hopefully... We'll get another call. Yeah, that one cleared out. So that's cool. Nice. Yeah, I like station two as far as like work working out in the county. It's kind of a centralized location, so it's a good spot to uh to get to a lot of different areas. Yeah, let's get him out of here as well. We'll see about parking them up as we wait. We may ditch. We may ditch this engine actually and keep the Quint here and uh, do another tanker. We'll see. It looks like it looks like he needs water. So was he not getting water from the tanker when we were sitting there? Yeah, this guy, this bad boy needs some water. Uh, I don't know what's up with that. I'm I'm surprised. All right, well, we've got a... Where's the hydrant at? Over there on the side, okay. All right, we'll head over there. We'll uh, we'll fill up real fast. Yeah, I know. I was connected to the tanker. I mean, we were hooked up on the discharge for it, so... I don't know why it didn't, it didn't give us water. It's weird. I have to look at that again. It was probably a uh, spur error on that. <laughs> This is operator error. All right, let's get over here. We'll get uh, get some waters. The lights, pop outs. Okay, we should. All right, we got a hose on the front. Nice. Got like a quick attack on the front. I've never really done much with the Quint. Actually, I don't know. Uh, I don't know much about it. All right, let's grab this supply. And we'll connect to you. And now we need the hydrant wrench. Tools, hydrant wrench. There we go. Now let's watch it and see what it does. No, oh, yep, she's full. Man, that was quick. <laughs> that was really fast. Good thing, uh good thing I noticed that. Kudos to the viewer that told me about that as far as the lights on the uh on the engines as far as your tank, how full your tank is, so. Alright, let's uh let's go back. Disconnect you and put you back up. And we'll get our hydrant wrench. I'm curious for the FDNY guys, do you uh, are you able to fill in the firehouse? Are you able to fill your equipment in the firehouse? For anyone for that part, you know. I mean I know not everyone is, they're not able to do that here. I do know that in the other towns I lived in, they weren't able to do that as well. So possibly, I don't know. I, it'd be interesting to know if they could fill in the, uh, in the station. Damn, it's raining cats and dogs. Let's get this guy back inside. Put him inside real quick. We'll just back him in. Uh, 
There we go. Sweet. All right, we'll just hang tight and uh, ride out this storm. Hopefully we'll get some more calls. There we go, got another call. I was just sitting here playing around with the uh, head customization. Change the uh, number color there on it. And uh, helmet secondary color. I want to change that as well too. Let's uh, let's see. I think we have orange on our uh, turnout gear. So we'll go with orange on the helmet too. All right, we're good with that. Let's go ahead and exit uh, customization. Really neat feature to, uh, to check out. All right, let's see. What do we got? What do we have? Uh, working fire. We got working fires on 8 Bubble Lane. Box 310 dispatched. Where is that going to be? Where should she be? All right, exit out, please. Now we're good. 8 Bubble Lane. I have no clue where 8 Bubble Lane is at. Uh, where are you? Oh, I see it now. Oh, it's up in another subdivision there. Cool. Looks like a, a mobile home park. Yeah, that's cool. Let's go check it out. No hydrants up there either. So we'll need some tanker ops as well. All right, let's hop into Quint. We'll get going. Lights. Headlights. Oop, wrong one. Do that. There we go. I think that's my favorite uh, out of all of them. I think that is my favorite so far. Really hope that to see more uh, customization and stuff like that with the uh, with the horns and uh, sirens and stuff like that. Maybe I don't know. I don't know what their plans are as far as mods, but you know, it'd be cool if users could add uh, horns and sirens and stuff like that as well too. Yeah, let's get on up here. Yeah, there we go. All right, not too far away. Got a stack of cars out here. That's cool. I wonder what's up with that. I'm assuming this is a mobile home park. I'm, I'm going to guess that's what it is. I could totally be wrong. Look, it looks like a mobile home park on the map. Mobile homes go up quick. Holy crap, those things, like, <laughs> they go up so fast. They really just do. There's not really much to them. Yeah, it is a mobile home park. Sweet. All right. Shady Vale Trailer Park. Nice. All right, let's kill that. Oh, uh, Power Transformer too. Power Substation. That's neat. I wonder if we can uh, take calls over there. That's really cool. Oh, we got smoke. Where there's smoke, there's fires. We got some fires over here. Oh, yeah, it's going good. Going good, guys. She's going good for certain. All right, let's... Uh, actually, let's back up a little bit just in case. We don't get too far. Oh, don't get too close to the fire scene. All right, we need to hop out and we need a tanker. We need some waters. What do we do this time? Let's go back to fire stations. Uh, let's teleport to station two. And I guess we get rid of, um, I guess we get rid of that engine and spawn a tanker instead. All right, station two, we got uh, engine one, remove truck, engine one, exit, and let's spawn. Tanker. Let's this time. Let's take. Uh, let's take tanker two this time. Come on. I don't know if it's still selected or not. I'm kind of iffy on that. All right. Let's get her over there. You can tell it drives kind of heavy. I don't know if there's uh, like mass and weight model into this, but it seems it seems kind of heavy to me. Maybe uh, maybe it's my mind playing tricks on me. Could very well be. Whoa! This bird's got to watch what he's doing. I was looking at the mini map, wasn't paying attention. 
we all ruined it. That's a nice little house right there too. So I wonder if every structure on the map can burn. Like, is there potential for a fire everywhere? All right, let's go back. Oh, she's sliding like crazy. Like she just didn't want to turn. All right, here we are. We'll make this left. Oh, slow down. Yeah, she wants to slide like crazy when you turn. I don't know if that's because of the weather or if that's just in the steering or what, but uh, Shadyvale Trailer Park, here we go. All right, let's get over here. Hopefully this water will work. I don't know what was going on with the last time. That could have very well been me though. Yeah, there's no hydrants even remotely close, so. Alright, let's hop out. What if we could do a tank? Can you do a drafting tank? Uh I wonder. A portable pond. Um Nice, you can. Okay, that's cool. So since we did that. Uh Damn, how could we do this? Uh, connect, discharge. Yeah, I have no clue on this. I don't know how we would... Do what it says. Grab an intake hose. So, is... That's pulling from the, uh... That's pulling from the line, right? I really don't know. I have no clue how this works. I don't know. I don't think we'll bother with it today. I need to uh, I need to study this and uh, read up on it a little bit. I don't know how those work. All right, let's put this guy back. I was just curious to see if we had one or not. We'll research it a little bit, or maybe some of you guys can fill me in on what you got to do with that. All right, let's get our supply line. And we'll hook him to... Discharge, right? Discharge is where we need to go. We'll hit E. We're connected up. So we should have a supply of water from the tank. At least that's what I'm guessing. Let's, uh... I don't know. Do we need to use a quint or not like the ladder? Oh, man. She's burning good. Yes, she is. Let's do it. Let's do it for the heck of it. Use ladder, do the outriggers, and operate the ladder. Nice. I would imagine she's going to go through water like no damn tomorrow. If we, uh, oh, right on top of that uh, light post there. She's probably going to go through water like crazy. Doing this, I would imagine. So we may not get uh, we may not get too crazy with it. We'll just put a little water on there. And I can't. Uh, let's see. Hit J. Now can we do it? Uh, no. Why well, I can't I can't aim the water? What am I doing wrong here? I don't know. Let's ditch that. We're going to ditch it because uh, I don't want to use up all our water. Let's hop down. We'll grab a uh, we'll grab an attack line. We'll hit it with that. There we go. Got our attack. We'll go to this back door here. There we go. Now we're set. All right. Let's see if this door is even open. That's yeah, locked. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. All right. Let's drop you back down. Grab something to uh, bust that door open. Get the trusty axe. I love the axe. I'll get the sledgehammer. That would be interesting to see what it does. There we go. <laughs> we forced the door. I like that. Yeah, let's put you back over here. 
Tools, axe, we're good with you. Now we're set. We're set to make entry. Start putting some water on there. And why am I not doing? I'm not getting any water. Why are we not getting any water now, man? What am I doing today? What are you doing with your life, Spur? Seriously, like, I have no water. Are we out of water? Surely not. What's going on? Something is not right. Something is amiss. We are. We're out of water already. Why are we not taking on water from the tanker? Um, uh, we're out. Why are we out? Like we've connected that to the discharge, and we're out of water on this too. What is going on? Like we have we have no water whatsoever, no water at all. I, I have no clue what's going on with that. Okay, well, I guess we'll take the tanker and fill it up, guys. We'll, uh, we'll get some, some different gameplay here, I guess. I don't know. That's really odd. Both of them are out of water. Surely, using that quint, using the, uh, the aerial, the big nozzle, did not drain both that quick. There's no way. Damn, we gotta go like all the way back to station two to uh, to get some water. This is where multiplayer would shine, like it being able to ferry water back and forth to these remote sites. All right, well, we'll go grab some water then. That's odd. I don't know how it blew through the water so fast. Okay, there's one. There's a station over here. We'll just go to it. slow down she's sliding she's sliding so bad all right there we go let's hop out grab supply line hook you up now we need a hydrant wrench oops not an axe spur not an axe we can't open a hydrant with an axe if you did it would probably take you a while <laughs> it would probably take you a while beating on it all right, let's see what she does. Nice, we're good here. All right, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Like, I'm, I'm at a loss. I don't know how we went through all that water. Let's grab her, put her back. Man, it would be so cool if all this stuff could actually burn. If all, if everything had a potential for a fire, you know, that would be really awesome. All right, let's try this out again. All right, got our supply line. Let's go back to the discharge. All right, there we go. So we are getting water. We are getting water, so let's go in. Let's grab the attack line. We'll, we'll make entry for real this time. All right, let's do first person. Nice. I love the view. There we go. All right, we're making some headway, guys. We're making headway. Another room. Got a few rooms in here, looks like. All right, it says to vent, but the window's already busted out, so. All right, we'll take it. This is the front door. Let's open it up. Is this locked figures? All right, let's go the other way. Guy reminds me of a trailer I used to live in way back in the day. Damn, that one's locked too. All right, well, go grab the axe. All right, we'll drop you here. 
We'll get a trusty axe. Yeah, we still got a lot of fire in there. It's still pretty well involved on both ends. And we got dark in here too. Holy crap. It really, really impressed me the first time I played this game of uh, getting lost inside the house with the fire and the smoke, you know, the smoke and everything, the low visibility. And like not having a clue where I was at and kind of almost panicking for a little bit. I was panicked for a second. I was like, shoot, I'm going to die. And then uh, it dawned on me. I was like, I can, I can follow the hand line. You know, it's, I drug it in. I can follow it back out. And so that's what I did. But uh, that was really cool. All right, let's drop. I don't want to drop the axe right there. Let's drop it inside here in case. There we go. All right. That was super cool. Like it really, it, it had me on edge. Having to kind of uh, feel your way around the house, you know, and try to figure out where you're at and where you're going. All right, we're getting it nice. All right, we got that. Let's bust that window out there. Oh, we got a victim, damn it. Yeah, we do. Uh oh. That is not good. I didn't know we could have victims in fire. Really looking forward to when we can actually, we can like treat and interact with the victims. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, damn. We got another one. Now, these people are, they're toast. They're, <laughs> there's no help in these people. Unfortunately. All right, we got it. Let's vent this. This is doing something like hydraulic ventilation, maybe. Come on, bust out. There you go. Uh, yeah, we don't have time for you yet, sir. We'll have to come back. Go we'll drop our line. I was not expecting to be, uh, to be seeing people in there. Uh, it's still smoking, too. Looks like we might have to bust out a fan. Yeah, I think so. Let's do that. Let's bust a fan out real fast. What does our water supply look like? I'm just curious... Oh yeah, we have plenty with the attack line. We have plenty, but man, that's uh nozzle and the ladder went through really fast. Tools. Hook fan, there we go. Not sure how this is gonna work out with the steps. Maybe we need to take it around front. I think they have a porch up there. The dude's like, I got it, guys. Don't worry about me. I can get it by myself. No one help. <laughs> I don't need help. I'm good. Yeah, we'll do it out here. This will be a good spot. All right, so we've done this before. You have to set it, like, right in front of the... Um, is it working? I don't know. Maybe we need to get the victims to uh, clear the call. Can't forget about them. Okay, there we go. Eight Bubba Lane is under control. We've got some injured Bubba's in here we need to take care of. Uh, let's see. What do we need to do? Interact with victim. Uh, perform CPR. Nice. I did not know you could do all this. Learn something new every day, right? I mean, the trailer was already well involved by the time we got here. I don't think there was much we could have done. So we're doing CPR, but I don't really know the point. Like, uh, we did it. Let's carry him out of here. I hope they didn't lock us out again. At least we got our axe with us. All right, hold on, Bubba. We got you. We're going to take care of you. We'll get him over here, drop him down. Uh, there we go. All right, interact with victim. Uh, can we do, like, I, d I don't know how to end this. Like, the, the call is cleared. We're good on the call. I just don't know what to do with these people. All 
I mean, we, we could be doing this for the next 10 years. <laughs> and I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh, he got up. Nice. We saved him, guys. Sweet. I did not know you could do that. I, I, I'm just... This game's full of surprises. I did not know. All right. Well, he's back. Let's... Uh, let's oh, it's locked. Man... Seriously. All right, let's knock the door down. And we'll get this guy. All right, we're victim. Let's carry him. Let's get him out of here first. Then we'll take care of him. He's just hanging out over there by the quint. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Well, at least we didn't run into a water supply issue. I mean, we did, but once we got, you know, once we replenished our tank, we were good. All right, let's drop you down here. Interact, CPR. You're going to save this dude here and call it a day. I think this is going to be a nice uh, day's work for us. Putting out two fires and saving two people with CPR. Like, you can't get any better than that. It's a busy day. Busy day in Canton County, guys. Love seeing all these updates coming out for everything. It, it's such an awesome time. You know, it's like everyone is uh, busy working on their games and, and improving and adding new features and all kinds of stuff. So looking forward to seeing where things go. All right, he's up. We saved them. They're twins. <laughs> we got them. You're welcome. Anytime. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you all for watching. Really do appreciate it. Thank you for all the love and support. If you are new to the channel, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment. Once again, check the uh, pinned comment below for the Discord. Thank you all guys once again, and we'll catch you in Canton County next time. Peace.